Let me show you an example of the assist, sketch, understanding system in operation. I'll draw a simple mechanical device and show you that the computer understands what it is that I've drawn. I'll start by drawing a simple hill. I'll anchor it to the background. I'll put a little cart on the hill, give it wheels, pin the wheels to the frame with some axles, and then indicate that I want gravity. And now if I'd drawn this on a piece of paper and shown it to you, you'd understand what it is that was about to happen. I want the computer to be able to understand what's going to happen as well. And I can simply push the run button and it produces the expected simulation. Now, I'm going to run that again, and I want you to pay attention to how the car moves as it runs down the hill. You'll see that it wobbles just a little bit because I haven't drawn the axles in the center of the wheels. Now, one of the nice things about an online environment is we can have the advantage of having it feel like paper and yet be able to do things that are not possible to do on paper. For example, I can take this and decide that I don't have it in quite the right place, and what I'd really like to do is move it just a bit and put it over here. Then I'll run the simulation again with my new conditions. And finally, we'll go back there one more time. And this time, what I'd like to do is make the simulation a little bit more interesting and a little bit more complicated. We'll add a speed bump and anchor it to the frame. And we'll add a pendulum. And now let's see what it is that our system is going to do in operation. It still manages to make it over the speed bump and head on down the hill. Now, let me try another device. This time, something a little more similar to the kind of thing that might happen in a real design environment. Here you see I've circled all of my previous drawings and I'm just going to get rid of it by saying, scratch that out. And let's try a simple little marble game, the kind of thing that we might have in a real design environment. I'm going to draw a collection of boards for the marbles to run down. I'll anchor them to the background. Put one more board down here. And let's give them a cup to fall into. And just to make it interesting, we'll anchor the cup with a couple of springs. Put some marbles up here. Okay, now let's see what this does. Oops, not quite. Let's go back to the drawing board, literally, and see if we can't fix things. Suppose we take this shelf and move it a little bit. And then let's take this shelf over here and move it a little bit. And now, let's try the device again. Ah, still missed. One more shot at it. This time, let's try grabbing the cup changing its location. All right, we've succeeded. Now what I wanted to show you is we have a design environment, the beginnings of a powerful design environment that allows a kind of natural and familiar style of interaction.